Hello, you all know me as a tarot reader and I really appreciate all of the followers and all of the people who really give me a lot of encouragement and look forward to the daily readings that I give. And thank you so much for that. But I'm also an evidential medium and I've had a few people ask me recently to give a bit more information about some of the experiences that I have with that. Now, normally I will try and make these much shorter clips, but this first story that I'm going to give you may take a little bit longer. So you're very welcome to skip on by or you can keep watching. It's entirely up to you. But basically, this was a few years ago, a good few years ago. And it involved a young lad, and obviously I'm going to keep everything very confidential and anonymous, but it involved a young lad who was really struggling with his mental health. He was experiencing a lot of depression and really struggling to be able to get up in the mornings, go to school, go to college, that kind of thing. So his mum had spoken to me and she'd asked me if I could see him and be able to see if I could help him out from a healing perspective. As you may or may not know, I'm also a Reiki master. So I met up with them and obviously because he was a minor, I'd asked for his mum to be present and started to work on him from a, and, and started a treatment, started doing his healing. Now, one of the things that he'd... Um, been feeling was a real kind of sense of trauma but also just a real uh, depressive kind of um, lowness within him and he couldn't really explain why but when I started doing his treatment one of the things that I was immediately taken to was a previous life of his that was still very much connected to him in this life now, this previous existence that he had was a very, very strong energy that was still attached to him. Now, obviously, he's reincarnated. He's come back as the lad now that he is. But his previous existence was another male, but a male who was then a fighter pilot in the war. Now, he showed me very clearly being in the cockpit of a plane and being shot down and going down into the ocean. And that's where he lost his life and was missing in action. Now, this was a very, very distinct um, image and certainly a connection that was formed with the previous existence. And so I was able to get a lot of information as far as the name, the squadron number, the information and a lot of details about this previous pilot. Now, the young lad, obviously, like I said, he was a minor. So I spoke quietly separately after the treatment had finished to his mum and said, obviously, you know, get in touch with me later and we'll have a proper chat. And then I wanted to leave it up to her whether or not she wanted to tell him or not tell him. That was completely her choice as his mother. Now, so I let her know later on that day exactly what I'd picked up on, what I'd experienced. And during the healing process was able to release and clear the energy that was still very much stuck there through that loss of life and that trauma. So in the first part, obviously, you know, when the lad then carried on, he was able to feel a lot lighter. He certainly felt a lot more uh, better in himself and felt like something had really shifted and released within him. So obviously that was a really good positive that had come out of the treatment in the first place. But when I spoke to his mum and I'd obviously given her all the information about the pilot and the details and the squadron, I didn't really expect that it was going to go any further than that. But what happened next was the, the mum was really curious and so she decided to start doing a bit of Googling. And essentially she found the pilot's information. She found that the details were online because of the fact that he had um, had a memorial only about, I think it was about seven or eight years previous. They'd celebrated him within his hometown. Now, one of the bizarre things is, is that the hometown that he came from was also the same hometown that the lad in this life's grandmother came from. So there was a link between them, really unexpected link, but a link between them. And obviously this pilot had lost his life and they'd celebrated and, and had a memorial to him in this place, in this in his hometown. Now, obviously, it was something that doesn't happen very often, certainly within healing, 
I do get a lot of uh, past life imagery and certainly within healing, it is about there's no boundaries to energy because it is energy. So there's no past, present or future. And I can obviously anybody that has any questions about that, I'll keep that for a different time. So being but being able to tap into past lives, past experiences is obviously something that does and can happen. But to be a very significant kind of traumatic experience that was holding on still to the reincarnate life was something that did need freeing because it was starting to weigh heavy on this poor lad. Now, obviously, once he'd finished the treatment and we were able to then um, clear him of that energy and essentially pass the pilot on to um the light and and free his energy equally both of them were much lighter much more free of the fact that this trauma had happened so for the lad in this life he was able to start moving forwards in a much more positive way and the mum's comments at the time was that she'd got her son back so it was a really good lovely outcome but really fascinating at the same time that we were able to actually find the information and the details confirming not only the name but the squadron number and the event and the situation that had happened so it was really positive in that respect I hope you follow on to listen to more of these experiences and um, I look forward to speaking to you soon. Any questions, please do send them to me because I'm more than happy to talk about any questions that people might have about this area, whether it be evidential mediumship or Reiki or tarot. Please do send your questions to me.